Cardiovascular events like myocardial infarction and stroke are the leading cause of death worldwide. Every two seconds another patient dies from a cardiovascular event. This means about 18 million deaths per year, equivalent to three times the current population of Denmark. By 2030, this number is expected to rise to over 23 million. These deadly events are caused by atherosclerosis, a systemic progressive disease which can manifest as peripheral artery disease or PAD. In severe cases, PAD can lead to limb ischemia and even amputation. Often patients with PAD also have manifestations of atherosclerosis in other parts of the body, like the coronary, cerebral or carotid arteries, a deadly connection, all too frequently overlooked. And while the severity of PAD is often underestimated, these patients are at an elevated risk being between three and four times more likely to experience myocardial infarction, stroke or cardiovascular death than patients without PAD. This is why these patients need effective vascular protection from the possible consequences of atherosclerosis. In PAD patients, atherosclerosis can begin to develop decades before symptoms arise since atherosclerotic plaques grow slowly. When a plaque ruptures and a blood clot forms, the threat of a vascular event becomes very real. Clots consist of activated platelets stabilized by fibrin strands. While activated platelets aggregate to seal the rupture site, fibrin formation is triggered by the coagulation cascade. An important part of this chain reaction involves factor 10A and prothrombin. When factor 10A encounters prothrombin, it cleaves prothrombin into thrombin. One molecule of factor 10A can catalyze the activation of a thousand molecules of thrombin, which cleave fibrogen into fibrin. Fibrin then assembles into strands. Thrombin also leads to further platelet activation via PAR receptors located on platelets, thereby increasing platelet aggregation. This activation doesn't only happen in the blood flow, but occurs predominantly on the plaque surface. Because of thrombin's effects on platelets and fibrin, it offers a specific therapeutic target for the inhibition of arterial clot formation. Reducing thrombin generation is a promising approach currently under investigation for the prevention of myocardial infarction, stroke or cardiovascular death in patients with PAD.